Hi everyone, my name is Matt and I'm working in the product team here at Zenfi. In this video, I plan to walk you through the basics of Zenfi, who we are, what we can do, and how you can quickly automate one of your business processes. So what is Zenfi? Zenfi is a no-code automation platform specifically built for Google Workspace users. It is built for all sorts of users from highly technical people who are very comfortable with coding to people with no technical experience at all. So with a few drag and drops, you can automate any process from a simple leave request to an expense reimbursement process to even something more complex, such as an employee onboarding that requires, for example, approval from multiple stakeholders. So these processes can all get automated without the need to write any code and can be easily maintained by anyone within your organization. So let's get started. There are just a few concepts that you need to get familiar with at Zenfi, and the first one being a flow. So everything in Zenfi revolves around a flow. A flow is an implementation of a process or part of a process. So for example, you may have a process in place where employees can request for a new laptop, and this process starts when an employee submits a Google form, which gets assigned to his or her manager to approve it. So following this, it will get uh, sent to the IT team to inform them of this new request that has already been approved. So as you can see, if we do this process with Zenfi, the IT team will only be notified for requests that have been approved and would never have to worry about uh, if relevant approvals have been done or not. So once you click on create a flow, you are going to be asked what will spark this flow to kick off and run. It can be anything from this one, a manual flow, which means it will only run when you manually click on the run button to something such as a scheduled flow which means it's going to be run on a scheduled basis, such as, for example, daily at 8 a.m. Or you can say that uh, this flow is going to be kicked off and run when, for example, a new email comes into your Google uh, mailbox or when there is a new response of a Google form. So some of these triggers may also provide you with something we call metadata, which will be available for you to use. So, for example, if you selected the trigger to be uh, this one, the submission of a Google form, then the data from the Google Form submission will be available for you to use within the flow. I'm going to explain this one in more detail later on in this video. So besides these, you can see some pre-created templates, such as a mail merge, which can be used only by configuring a few things. So once you've clicked on uh, the trigger, you're gonna be taken to the Zenvi canvas, where you can drag actions. So here, what are actions now? Actions are the building blocks of your flow. An action could be anything from a, a control flow, such as a for each item or an if condition or something more complex, such as state machine. And or it can be an interaction with another system even. So for example, you can say that this action is going to send an email through your Google, uh, from your Gmail, or to let's say add a new row to a Google Sheet. So depending on your process, these actions can run sequentially or in parallel. So once you're ready to get started, let's uh, just drag and drop an action to your canvas. Um, I'm going to add, for example, an append row. And then you'll see this uh, cogs button appear. So once you click on the cogs icon, you can start to configure it. So depending on the action, the things that you can configure will vary. Whenever you see this icon here, this means you can dynamically configure the property using one of the uh, start parameters, such as the data from the Google Form submission, or it can be an output from a previous action. So if your process needs to interact with another system, which I think most likely most flows will need to, you'll need to set up that connection. You can do that from clicking on the connection here or clicking the plus to add the connection, or you can manage all of your connections from here by clicking on the connections button in the side menu. So here you can see all of the different connections that you can set up with Zenfi. And what this pretty much means is that you're granting permission to Zenfi to interact with this system by just viewing if, for example, you select the read only connection, or you can say to edit, such as, for example, to post a message or to add a row to a Google Sheets document. So these are the connections that we currently support now. Uh, so the next part in this video that I want to onboard you with is a flow run. So every time the trigger connected to your flow executes, then an instance of your flow is run. So for example, uh, every time a Google Forms is submitted, then the flow associated to that Google Forms is executed. If you set 
uh, your flow to run manually, then this flow would only run when you manually click on the play button, for example, this one here. Clicking on the recent runs, you can see all of the different runs of your flows. So I'm going to filter to all of the uh, all of the flow runs, and here you can see there are multiple statuses of a flow run. You can see they're executing, which means this flow is currently executing, completed, faulted, or cancelled. If you want to get more details, for example, why this flow, for example, uh, was faulted, you can click on it to see at which action uh, there was an issue. So if you have any further questions or you need more information, please do not hesitate to contact us. Or if you want, you can watch some more detailed tutorials on our YouTube channel. Also, as you explore Zenfi, if you realize there is a functionality that you would like, please add it to our user voice by clicking on here. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy using Zenfi.